still a baby. Five-year-old Carrie Chandler is you're independent. I'm not this small anymore. But you're still my baby. I'm this big, Mom. So when she set out for her first day of kindergarten at Paddock Elementary School, her mom wasn't worried. I dropped her off at school this morning, didn't we? But at the end of the day, as Carrie's mom waited for her to walk out the school doors, that excitement turned to panic. I went into the school because I'm like, my baby was supposed to be in the back, but she's not here. They called police. Then her work called, saying a woman had found Carrie. I immediately called this lady, and she told me that she had my baby, that my baby was beating on a door, hollering for mommy. Carrie explains. Three teachers took me outside, and I just um, said, I'm walking. Her family tells us they filled out a plan for pickup this morning, including who Carrie could leave school with. They tell us Carrie followed a young girl she didn't know home from school, then pointed out her house where the girl left her. I'm in tears. My husband's in tears. My mother-in-law's in tears. All of us are searching for my baby. It was the worst half hour of my life. Westside Community Schools Communication Director Brandy Paul explains there was a miscommunication about Carrie's pickup and says they'll make sure teachers revisit plans for how students are supposed to get home. We're just going to reinforce that touch base with every teacher in our buildings and make sure they know that they've connected with families so they know where every child is supposed to be. Chandler tells us she is pulling her daughter from Paddock Road Elementary and will find another school for her to go to. Reporting live, Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.